hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl ray and this is ray's budget and in today's video guys we are going to be doing my weekly cash stuffing of my everyday spending envelopes my high priority sinking funds i need to put a little bit of money into my savings my personal savings and we are going to do our year-long savings challenges as well but before we get into that guys i want to go ahead and give you some inspiration for the day and the quote states one day at a time this is enough live in the present and make it so beautiful that it will be worth remembering and that is by ida scott taylor that's a good one i'm gonna set that one off to the side now today we are going to be stuffing $386. Let's go ahead and take it out of my pouch and get the money into the cash tray. Now we have 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 386 dollars, guys. Let's go ahead and get it into the cash tray. And if you guys have not seen my, it's the very first video I've ever done. It's my weekly cash planning session video. I did that video on Tuesday. And it shows you guys how I do my planning for my um, different cash stuffings that I do. I will link it in the iCards and down in the description box so you can check it out. But it was a pretty good video and it's a good video for new folks out there who are new to cash budgeting. So the first thing we are going to do, guys, is go ahead and empty the money out of my wallet. Now, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but remember I told you guys during I think it was my last cash stuffing video that I was going to stop putting my money into a binder for my everyday spending envelopes. I was going to actually put it into a wallet and start using my wallet, but I was still going to actually use my credit card so I can get the points for all of my bills. So what we're going to do is go through my wallet, pull out the money that is in there and restuff it for the upcoming week. And basically, these um, right here are covering up all of my information. So the first one we are going to unstuff today is the grocery envelope. And we're going to take this money out, put it off to the side. And this is going to actually go into my savings challenge reserve. But in groceries, we started off with $140. We have $6 left over. So I'm going to just set that right there. And dining out, we have $5 left over. And y'all know I hate folded money, so I'm going to have to get used to this. I don't have anything in allowance. In home goods, I have a couple dollars left over. I have two. And in gas, guys, I have $5 left over. So let's go ahead and replenish these envelopes for the upcoming week. So in groceries, and I am going to put labels on these. I just haven't got to it yet. In groceries, it's going to get 140. So we have 51, 20, and 40. And then next we have, let's see, dining out. Dining out is going to get $20. So we're going to do a 20. And then next we have allowance, which I didn't budget any money for allowance this week. Then we have home goods. Home goods is going to get $10. And then last, guys, in my everyday spending envelopes, we have gas. Gas today is going to get $20. So let me go ahead and get this in here. And we are done 
with my everyday spending envelopes. I'm going to put that off to the side. Next, we are going to bring out my high priority sinking funds. And the very first one we are going to stuff is back to school. Today, back to school, we'll be getting $5. So we are going to do a five. And that takes back to school to 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. $319 for back to school. Next, we have subscriptions, and today it is going to get $1. Now, subscriptions has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Subscriptions has $60, guys. And... The goal for subscription, guys, is $60. So this envelope has been fully funded. So yay. And you know what? Let me see if I have a fully funded. And I think I do. No, I don't. So I'm going to put a fully funded envelope in here or insert in here during our next video. But next we have Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving today is going to be getting $5. Five. So Thanksgiving now has 120, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67. $167 for Thanksgiving. Why did I put that in there? <laughs> Look, y'all, I am tired. Next, we have Candle Day. Today, Candle Day is going to be getting $5 as well. Let me make sure that's correct. No, Candle Day is going to be getting $4 today. One, two, three, four. And let's see where this takes Candle Day. The goal for Candle Day is $350. We now have 120, 40, 60, 61, 62, 3, 4, 5. $165 for Candle Day. Car registration is going to be getting $1. And that takes car registration to 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67. And the goal for car registration is $75. So we're almost done with that envelope as well. Next, we have car insurance premium. We are six months ahead on our car insurance payments. We are now saving up for July through December. And today, car insurance premium is going to get $33. So this is 20, 30. And then we have one, two, three. $33. And let's see where this takes car insurance premium. The goal for this envelope is $800. We have 1, 2, 50, 70, 90, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, 430, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, 610, 620, 620, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, $625 in car insurance premium. And then last but not least, for my high-priority sinking funds, we have Christmas. And today, Christmas is going to be getting $10. And so, Christmas now has 51, 50, 70, 90, 210, 230, 250, 260, 70, 80, 90, 300, 310, 20, 1, 2, 3. $323 in Christmas. 
Next, what we are going to do is pull out, and I wanted to show y'all something real quick. I condensed this over the weekend, so it's not that fat anymore. Um, but what I'm going to do now is pull out my revolving and long-term sinking funds because real quick, I want to put $50. It was $74 and um, this money comes my from my savings challenges that I completed in the month of March. I was supposed to put, um, what is it? $74 into my personal savings, but it's going to be 50 because I kept the other amount for myself. So we're going to do 20, 40, and 50. So that takes my savings to 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, 10. $210 for raised savings. And that is it for my long-term savings. We're going to move now to my savings challenges. And the very first savings challenge we are going to address is the My 2024 1K Come Up. And today we have budgeted $33 for the month of April, right? And so what we are going to do, we're actually going to do two different ones in order to come up with the $33, or try to anyway. So these four, all of these rainbows are worth $4 a piece. I'm going to color all of those in for $16. And then I'm going to do the five, four, three, two, and one die. So that is going to be, let's see, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 16 is $31. So um, I budgeted for $33. We're just going to do something else with that $2. So give me one second real quick, guys. I'm going to color these in, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I have colored in all of these rainbows for a total of $16 and I have colored in these dye. I owe this challenge this week $31. So what we're gonna do since we're done with this one is move it to the back and we will concentrate on these two starting next week. And let's go ahead and put $31 into this challenge. That's 20, 30, and one. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Let's go ahead and close this up. The next savings challenge we are going to do is the quarterly challenge. And with this challenge as well, guys, I budgeted $33 for. And we are actually in the month of August. And the goal for August is $130. As you can see right here, today we're going to put 33 in. So that's 20, 30, 1, 2, 3. And we're going to go ahead and just set this back behind here. And we are done with this one for the day. And then lastly, guys, we are going to go to my other monthly challenge, which is this one. And we are all the way on August. So we have 10, 20, 1, well, I budgeted 21, right? So we are going to do, we're on August, well, let me put it this way. I budgeted for August and September this month, and I have $21, so we are going to do 9 and this 12 for a total of $21. So let me go ahead and color these in. Let's do this 9. And let me see if I can get changed. So we got 10. No, 
I don't. So for now, I'm just going to put all this $21 in here. And I will make sure each envelope has this correct amount by the end of the month. Now this savings challenge, for some reason these envelopes aren't acting right. They're starting to separate. But we're going to go ahead and put this $21 in here. And then next what we're going to do real quick, guys, is we are going to count up how much is going into my savings challenge reserve for my savings challenge video this Sunday. And just as a FYI, when it comes to my savings challenges, please guys remember that I do have a sale going on in my shop where you get 5% off all of my new items and 15% off all of my other items. That sale is going on now through Friday. So make sure you check it out. But we are going to be adding, this is a good amount, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars, guys, to my savings challenge reserve. But guys, that is going to be the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below. If you're new to my channel and you're liking what you see, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. And guys, please make sure your notification bells are turned on so you don't miss any of my videos. Guys, I will talk to you on Sunday during Save Day Sunday. And if you are doing the spring savings party with me on Sunday, make sure you have your savings challenge ready to go. But guys, I will talk to you then. Have a wonderful and safe weekend. God bless. Bye, guys.